Hello and welcome back to Hearts Fine 4 with Black Eyes, Japan, Dying, Soviet Union, the usual. Um, I think this is going to be the last episode. We are nearing completion and what the hell? Did we have an update? That's a different icon. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we are nearing the end. Um, oh, I lost two paratroopers somewhere. Um, can I get you to attack that? Thank you. Um, so, what I'm basically trying to say is that we are... Um, this is going to probably be the last episode. We're going to get the capitulation of Japan. And we're going to get a peace deal. And that is about it. Now, that is not a... Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But... Um, you need to be a different color. Because otherwise it won't recognize you. So, we're going to go with dark... Green, which turns into orange for some reason, but that actually works in a way. Um, I'm gonna get these seven tanks to drive across. So, people have been, sir, some of you have been requesting play with the US of A, and to that I say no. I have played USA before on live stream, and well, I was learning Black Eyes, and I thought USA is nice because you you know you have some time to prepare for everything, which is true actually. Um, but it basically means that you're gonna spend the first few hours of the game, and I'm not joking because Black Eyes is a lot slower than regular. Um, just waiting till um, you can join into the war, which is not that interesting, in all honesty. Uh, reason why I'm not continuing this, this this campaign and not just attacking the allies. Uh, well, that's actually fairly simple. This game, the mod, is not yet in such a state that it actually is possible, really. Because um, the game state is more than broken currently. Um, it is... Um, not in a good spot. Let's keep it like that. Um, you can guys get over here. I can go one dude to just clean this up. And why don't we just give you the order to just clean up like that? There we go. You are still trying to get that done. Yeah, well, good luck there, buddy. Um, these six divisions are gonna get like up north. Seems that Japan's main army is not at home. Actually, a lot of the army has died by now. They still have manpower, but they have nothing. If something else that they need is no longer present, that I, is something I don't know. But well, historically, it was impossible to capitulate Japan, um, and a bloody fight needed to be on the mainland. It seems that uh, in Hearts Fire, it's a lot simpler. It's quite a lot simpler. Okay, uh, can we just get this on? Go get it on. We'll just uh, clean up and uh, there we go. Oh, uh, well, they're just probably having some issues getting equipment in. Um, but tanks tend to have a odd tendency of just not really wanting to die. Um, so what is next? I think I'm gonna play some more black eyes because I'm gonna sort of get a taste of it and I wanna um, try some new stuff and I think the best country to do that new stuff in is actually Germany. Um, now I know Germany is probably not the most interesting country to play these days and people will be like, oh Germany, we've said that a million times. I don't know. Probably. It's like one of the more popular countries to play with. I might still do a USA campaign at some point but for now I, 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 I wanna so we have done, I've done USA before, see that's the, the, and I haven't done entire USA, but I've done USA, we've done Japan until the game broke, we've now done Soviet Union, and it went, went a lot better, and then the game broke, which is I think a more common theme. Um, and I think I just want to try Germany, and just actually winning as Germany, because um, we so far we've just been, basically been doing whatever we were supposed to. Just speed this up, please. Um, why aren't we just taking over everything? Just aggressively strike at whatever. Uh, not too aggressively, because apparently all of Japanese forces are stationed right there in 
uh, Tokyo, which is not that surprising, but I need some infantry to support these uh, city attacks. Actually, this is just Tokyo West. It's not even Tokyo itself. You are you. Assist that with you, if you don't mind. Thank you. I don't know where the harbor is, but yeah, hopefully I this is going to cut off some resupply. Okay. Royce. This is a... Yeah, this is a lot more difficult, of course, to... Uh, this is city full of Tokyo. Onwards, comrades. Uh, we haven't got Tokyo yet. We merely have a part of it. So, there we go. Radar for all capital ships. That's it. Alright, just strike in. Oh, God. Okay, that is not going to work, then. Um, this guy up, up north is going to do that on this 10 divisions. So like, like, hell no. Um... It says 10, but I think it's 3 is more accurate. I don't know. Um, let's push downward. I think Japan will soon capitulate. Probably genuinely needs to take Tokyo. I don't have nuclear weapons yet, but... Uh, Radar for all capital ships is nice. All right. Um, why don't we uh, build some of these beautiful nuclear plants? There we go. Just get a couple of them. All right. Just take look at my new landing craft. That should do it. Right. Empire of Japan is at ninety nine percent. Really. Really? Ah, my troops have landed, so uh, we can also set that order up. So I might need to take the island here. Oh, God, I hate that. Anyway. Most logical point for that is this and there. Go start making preps. Boys, let's get ready. And we don't really have much research here left, so great news. Jempire, Jempire? The Empire of Japan, also known as Jempire apparently, has capitulated and that is a peace deal. Now I know the AI technically isn't in here, because I, uh, I still have player t uh, let peace deals turned on. But I know for sure that I can take at least what I've conquered. So. Probably, nah, that's not gonna make any sense, right? Okay, so, um, let's see. First things first, I, uh, so the Republic of Cambodia. Really, this is a bit weird. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna liberate Korea, Siam. French Indochina. This is the Republic of Vietnam. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, let's see. Let's start with that. All right. Then we pop at Japan. Right. Get the last couple of turns because then I get all the points. There we go. Right. Um, then we can. It's the difference between liberating and... It liberates the... Uh, did, I, did I do that wrong? Yeah, I think I did. Shit. Order 7 the 1st of August. I don't know what date it is right now, but the war was done anyway. It's just kind of... I had to... Uh, liberating is not what I should have done. Sorry. Weird, you know, thought. Like, liberating the... I'm not a d democracy, and of course, loading the game does make it crash. Well, now we'll load in again. Okay, that gives me a time to take a sip of my drink and actually lubricate those vocal cords so that they don't hurt after. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Right. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I might do USA at some point. But I, if USA is going to be back, I want to be. I want to be more ready. Right now, uh, we don't even have a screen cap yet, so we're just staring at a black screen. Normally, you guys just get the beautiful hearts of iron loading screen that I just don't get to see because it just locks up for me. Come on, black screen, really? Like a true professional, I don't cut this out because that would actually make cost me to make effort. I'm sorry. It is true, though, in a way. Um, there we go. Might. Yep, there we are. Sorry. All right, continue. Load it, load it safe. Please don't crash again, because then I might need to do actual cutting. And I hate to do that, because that person I need to... So what? So the reason I hate doing it is because I have a safety system in OBS, which causes it not to export as MP4. My editing software, however, is only MP4 compatible, so I need to re-render it again and then edit it and then render it again which makes very little sense now let's just take the final bits yeah, here and part of japan with the laid okay you go here you'd go here and you do that there we go okay that should be fast enough i guess and then we'll just get you to do uh okay on pause there we go and you go here japan could you please capitulate Right now, yesterday, tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Great news. Okay, let's try this again. Let's let everybody pass. Pass, 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 pass. So we just took literally the entire war here. Good for us. Right. Um, satellite, the Republic of Vietnam. Uh, Indochina. Siam. Thank you very much. Korea. And let's start with that. All right. Um, next up is um, a change government we'll do later. But for now, I have the People's Republic of China that wants his lands back. So we'll give the lands here back to our to the our big ass puppet here. Okey dokey. Let's just click through here. I kind of started that they're blue, but okay, you know, that's kind of the way it is. Though red against red, that's a bit weird. Okay, so that is that. Now, we are gonna change government. No, not yet. See, there is something I want to do first. I want to do a little bit of colonialism by taking these islands. Now, you might say, why would you want these islands? Well, fairly simple. I want a military bases on them. Like how the US is like built bases here. I want to do the same thing. All right. And I believe that the only thing then left is literally the... Uh, so Tokyo, Kanto, Tokai, Kuro Islands and... Oh right, of course I want this for myself as well. And this is the Kuro Islands, right? Yeah. I'm going to change government. End to turn. See, the Allies just fought them off, but we owned all territory, so this makes the most sense in a peace deal. Right? Yeah, good fighting there, Allies, but uh, we literally own all territory. Brazil, and so we have a communist... Oh, that guy looks weird. We have a communist uh, Korea, a nice large communist People's Republic, a communist Vietnam, a communist... It's a Democratic Republic of Indochina. I don't know what the naming is, but we have uh, Ho, Ching, Ho Chi Minh, which makes sense. And we have um, these guys with some nice communism everywhere. So the common term is now fairly big. The Chino Chinese United Front. But Xi'an King is also full communist, so you know we could probably get them into the faction if... Uh, Xi'an King is a communist and his world tension to be at 100% to join. But they won't because they okay. So that basically is the end of the episode. So it's gonna be a bit short one, um, but shorter than I expected. Now in theory, I think we can take on the allies. It's just a matter of do I really want to do this? And the answer to that is uh, no, no, I don't. See, France has just a few forces. UK has a bit. India has a few. Australia has a couple, and New Zealand has a few. And it's just the USA and Canada basically. But I don't really care much. 
And I think it's not that interesting of a thing to do in all honesty. Let's just clip this all away because it doesn't look really interesting anymore. But yeah, um, all in all, we own China. You know, that is one, which is 1.12 million people, even though they don't have like any industry whatsoever. But, you know, if I would start giving them shit, they could actually just train, but it's just, I think the AI being a bit funky. Um, but they could train a lot. We still have, you know, Japan is now a communist ally, which is 5 million people available and has an industry, you know, to rival that like of nations like Canada. And we could, if we could start pumping into the People's Republic of China, with that we could start building factories there if we wanted to, you know. There's a, this is like a one thing, and then it's just we can go just barge through the Middle East, uh, barge through Europe, and then just at some point land in the United States, just take it over and it's done. It's gonna take a lot of time. There is very little research left uh, on the list. See, this ends in 46. That's this year that we're in currently. Um, this ends in 45. This ends in 43. Like, well, okay, 44. I'll be honest here. Yeah, I could get more modern tanks, but these also go only up to 45. And so this game is made to end in 45, 46. There is no, there's no jet aircraft. There is nothing uh, like the fleets end in 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 40, 43. This is just. I would like to. Yeah, I would love if they would extend it. Hell yeah, that would be lovely to extend it, but uh, this is kind of what we have to work with. There's no jets, like we got this 47 aircraft, this is like this, as deep as it go. Oh yeah, right here, the 48 uh, bombers, if I would be really desperate for them. But um, yeah, you know, I think we've done what we were set out to be. This ends in 42, you know. I would love to see an extension of the tech tree. Uh, I would love to this go into the Cold War. This might be really interesting, but it it, it requires some work at the end of the war because it clearly broke the moment that we defeated Germany because Germany was still like existing in small bits and they were had, still had all their claims, all their bonuses, like all the fascism stuff was still in place. So it was definitely not built for that. But with that, I think I'm gonna call it quits. Um, if anybody from the Black Eyes Development team is watching, I love it. Keep up the good work. A yeah, I think you, you guys are doing great. You, you, it's getting there. It's getting better and better and better every day, and that's a really good thing. Um, it's just optimization, streamlining, AI programming, the usual shit. It's most modern, but I'm gonna actually play some more because I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Wow, these, you already have a troop. Who's this? Who's that? Like one division by whom? First Indo-Chinese regiment. Oh, that must be you guys. Nice. You're quick. Um, so, yeah. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Where we're going to try to win the war as Germany. Ooh, historical. Bye-bye.